Hello, the following resource is also available on www.eclassroom.co.za. Um, we are working from Mathematical Literacy Grade 11, Worksheet 4, Finance. Okay, so this is Jennifer's um, a, a cupcake business. So she decided to close her cupcake shop and rather make cupcakes and sell them from home. She already owned the building that her shop was in, so she rented the building out and saved the money so that she could buy better equipment. She decided to set up a budget so that she can decide how much she can afford to save every month. Note that Jennifer increased the rent by 10% from the first of each month. So this is a monthly income. It's 15,332 in January. In February it's almost 20,000 and in March it goes past 20,000. The monthly expense is 14,850 in January slightly more in February, slightly more in March and then income less profit is that. Okay, so here is a summary of all the income. So what does the income consist out of for each month and what does the expense consist out of? Okay, wonderful income and expenditure statement. Okay, so if Jennifer wants to keep 40% of her monthly profit for capital and 60% for equipment, now read carefully, how much money will she have spent on equipment at the end of March? Okay, so she wants to take the profit and use 60% of that for equipment. Okay, so they don't ask about the, the 40%. So if you take the 14,153, let's look at the memo. If you, uh, if you take for January, so let's just zoom in a bit. 60% of January's profit is 482, 60% of February's profit is 1936, and 60% of March profit March says March's profit is four thousand one hundred and fifty four. So you take the amount and you times it by either naught point six or sixty divided by a hundred or times uh, by sixty percentage button in your calculate calculator. You first have to calculate what sixty what these are. So that sixty percent of four eight two is two two hundred and eighty nine rand twenty cents. Sixty percent of a thousand nine hundred and thirty eight is a thousand one hundred and sixty two rand eighty cents and sixty percent of four thousand one hundred and fifty four is two four nine two and then you add the the bits together. Right, next question. Can you identify any fixed income that Jennifer earns? So let's look at the income. Okay, do you see that the sales income differ from month to month? The interest earned, earned differs from month to month. But the rent income, do you see that it stays the same? In March it goes up with 10%, but then in April, May, June, July, it will stay 5,500. 5, so the only fixed income that this lady earns is rent income. Question C, what percentage of Jennifer's expenses in February goes towards uh, salaries? Okay, so here is the total expense for February. 10,000 divided by 7,950 times 100. So let's look at the memo. 10,000 divided by 7,950 times 100 is 55,71%. Okay. Um, what is the selling price of one cupcake if Jennifer sold 950 cupcakes during the month of February? So you take 14,250 and you divide it by 950 and then you get 15 brand. So you take 14,250 divided by 950 and it's 15 brand per cupcake. Okay, so how much money does Jennifer earn if she sells 2,843 rand three cupcakes? So you take 2,843 times 15 and that equals 2,843 times 15 is 42,645. And then question F, use the formula given below to calculate the markup on one cupcake if it 
cost 4 Rand 50 to produce a cupcake. Now this markup calculation is incorrect. It should be Okay, sorry for sorry for that. Um where was I? Okay, this formula is unfortunately not correct. Um the markup is the selling price minus the cost by price divided by the cost price. So let's quickly look at an altern alternative answer. Alright, from current slide. Right. Now the selling price minus the cost price divided by the cost price times 100. Okay, so we first take the selling price, which is 15 Rand, minus 4 Rand 50, divided by 4 Rand 15, that's 100. Now 15 Rand minus 4 Rand 50 is 11 Rand and 50 cents. And if we divide that by, um, f sorry, f uh, 11 Rand 50 divided by 450 gives us 2,5555555555 times by 100 gives us, oh, this is still not correct, um, 255. 256%. Okay, so it's 11 Rand 50 divided by 4 Rand 50 gives us 2555 times 100 rounded up gives us 2, 256%. So if I times 4 Rand 50, 4 Rand 50 times 256 divided by 100, it gives us a 11 rand 52 no well wait 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 plus 4 rand 50 no wait 15 minus 4 rand 50 gives us 10 rand 50 there's the mistake Whew. sorry so 10 rand 50 divided by 4 rand 50 gives us 233 it was indeed correct so it was just that one error so 4 rand 50 times uh, 233 gives us 10 rand 49. Okay, let's watch the slide so from the current slide. Okay, so the 10, 10 rand 50 was incorrect. Divided by 4 rand 50 gives us 233 recurring. Okay, um, so if I, uh, just to check whether the markup is correct, so I take the 4 rand 50 and I times it by 233. But now because it's recurring, it gives me 10 rand 49. But if I were to times 4 rand 50 with 233,3333, it would actually give me 11, uh, uh, 10 rand 50. So if I add the 4 rand 50 to 10 49, it gives me 14 rand 49, which is rounded to 15 rand. Okay, so let's quickly go back to that, that question. All right, so please remember that this markup formula is incorrect and therefore the, the answer in the memo is also not correct. Um, okay, question two. The table compares two different cell phone packages using the information below and answer the question. So it's cell phone A and cell phone package B. Sue is on package A, so this one. She phones a friend who is on cell C for 3 minutes and 46 seconds during off-peak times. Why did Sue pay for the cell phone call? Okay, so let's assume it's per second billing. So you take 3 minutes and you times it by 60, which is 180 seconds plus 46 seconds. And you divide the minute price by 60. So you take 180 plus 46, that's equal to 226, times by 136 divided by 60, and that gives you 5 rand and 6 cents. If Sue Su buys 330 rands of airtime and phones phone a friend who only has a telecom line during peak hours, so there's tel Vodacom to telecom peak, um, how long can she talk before she runs out of air time? So you take the city rand and you divide it by the tariff per minute. So it's the three rand. Okay, so it's 30 rands divided by three rand is 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, she will run out of cell phone air time. Um, question C. Joanna spends three minutes on her phone to her brother during peak hours. If the call costs eight rand fifty-five and she is on package B, determine which service provider her brother is with. Okay, so you take the 
855 and you divide it by 3. 8 rand 55 divided by 3 gives you 2 rand 85. Go back to the thing, 2 rand 85 here is either empty in or sell C. Okay, then question D. Uh, Tandu is on package B and he spends 24 rand on a call to his friend who is on Vodacom. How long was the phone call made? Uh, so Vodacom to Telcom peak hours is um, uh, sorry Vodacom to Vodacom peak is 24 divided by 2 so that is 12 minutes 24 divided by 2 rand per minute is 12 minutes so Tandu was on the phone for 12 minutes um, how much money could Tandu have saved if he just waited with his phone call and phone during off peak times okay so it's 96 cents during off peak times so if you take the 12 minute phone call and times it by 96 cents you will get that it cost 11 rand 52 24 minus 11 rand 52 is 12 rand 48 so it's he saved 12 rand 48 but he, he could have saved 12 rand 48 if he just made his phone call during off peak times it's more than um, half less right and now question number three Um, Jeffrey plans to open a biscuit factory. He plans on selling two kinds of biscuits. Choc and 50 to make a box of choc chip delights and 6 rand to make a box of caramel dreams. He adds a 120% markup. The fixed running cost is 2,000 rand. A factory produces two caramel dreams for every choc chip delight. What is the selling price for one box of choc chip delights and the selling price for caramel dreams? Okay, so you take the 6 rand 50 and you multiply it by 120% and then you add the mark up to 650 to get the choc chip delights and the same 6 rand times 120% um, and then add it to 6 rand. Okay, so the memo looks slightly different. So 6 rand 50 plus 80% is 14 rand 30. And 6 rand plus 80% is 13 rand 20. Okay, um, then um, the... Uh, uh, sorry, then to complete the table... Um, they said complete the table below. So for 50 biscuits, remember the uh, chalk chip delights is 6 rand 50 to make. So the cost is 50 times 650. Um, here you go 650 divided by 6, 650 divided by 650. And here 250 times 6 rand 50, 300 times 6 rand 50. And then the income will be 14. 30 divided for 1430 divided by 1430 and 200 times 14 rand 30 and 300 times 1430 and then 6 rand for uh, the, the um, caramel dreams okay so here it is completed so 100 times 6 is 600 200 times 6 is 1,200. 3,000 divided by 6 is 500. 3, 600 divided by 6 is 600. And then you also use the 1,320 to fill in the table for the caramel dreams. Okay, now to fill in the, the to do the, let's just zoom to slightly smaller one. Um... 75 percent okay now to do the the graph is actually quite difficult because um, to get for f the first the first thing that you can do is for 150 units you add the cost together for the chalk chip ones and the caramel ones so the first point is 150 okay sorry it's first 2,000 rand as a fixed cost then for 300 biscuits, you will add um, 100 plus 200 is 300, and then it's 1,200 plus 650, so it's 1,850, and it's difficult to plot. 
Okay, um, for 150 biscuits, you will go 50 plus 100 is equal to 925 is the cost. And then the income is the same thing. So we'll add the units for this, the uh, uh, independent coordinate, coordinate, and you will add the two um, incomes. So whether you can draw this graph or not, you can at least answer the next question when they say indicate the break even point on your graph. So let's say you couldn't draw the graph at all. Then where the two graphs cross, you just make a dot and you write break even even point. At least you can get that mark. Then question um, if will the factory make a profit if they sell 420 caramel dreams and 210 chalk chip delights? So that's 630. So let's look at 650 is around about here. Definitely make a profit. Do you see that the income graph is far above the cost graph? So yes, the factory will make a profit because they start need to sell a minimum of about 265 packets of biscuits before they start making a profit. And then, um, if Jeffrey decides that it will be easier to sell both packets for 15 Rand, calculate the markup for both kinds of biscuits using this new price. Okay, so let's go here. Um, now, the selling price minus the cost price divided by the cost price is the markup. So it's 15 minus 6 Rand 50 divided by 650. So it's 850 divided by 650 times 100, which is 131 Rand marker, 131% percent markup. Uh, okay, actually, yeah, okay. And then selling price minus cost price divided by cost price is 15 minus 6 Rand divided by 6 is 9 divided by 6, which is 150% percent markup. Right, and then... Let's go back. The that was uh, the last of question number three. Um, I will continue with the uh, going through the this worksheet uh, with the next video. Please remember to do question four, two, six, four, five, and six. These questions before you look at the next memo. Um, just to give you the best out of this activity. Thank